This is a video companion for the Be Credible textbook on searching business entity records with a specific focus on Kansas. Before we get into the searches, it's important to remember that business entity records live at the state level. If you ever start a business to register it, you will file paperwork with the Secretary of State in the state where you want it registered. So to search for a business, you need to determine what state it's registered in and then look for that state's business entity database. In my case, I'm located in Kansas and I have my search results linked to my location. When I search business entity search, the Kansas business entity search link comes up first. I follow the link and get to a list of four choices. Business entity database, name availability search, a database of charitable organizations, and a trademark search. Right now, I'm interested in the first one of these, the business entity database. The next five choices offer me different ways of searching for the business. By business name, ID number, a keyword, and a resident agent's full name, and by the resident agent and a keyword. In a previous search I did on current property records, I identified two business names, Blue Cypress LLC and Ortho LLC, and I want to find out who owns these companies. So let's search by the business entity name. Clicking on the business name option brings me to a field where I can type in the business name in which I'm interested. The first business I want to search for is Blue Cypress, so I type that in. The search is successful in that there is a business by that name in the database. I then click on the View Record button. There are a couple of important pieces of information here, the mailing address and the resident agent's name. The address is 4828 Quail Crest Place in Lawrence, and the resident agent is Daniel Rangebar. Oftentimes with small businesses, the resident agent is the owner of the business, but if it's not, I have one other place to check for ownership. When I click on View History and Documents, I come to an agreement page that says that I won't use the information contained in these documents for commercial and other prohibited purposes. Check and Next. On this page, there is a list of annual reports that this business has filed since it was established in 2002. Businesses have to file a form once a year with the Secretary of State to indicate that they are still in operation. I can click on the latest report, which opens up as a PDF, so I could save it if I wanted to. There isn't much in this report, but it does confirm one key piece of information that I was looking for, and the annual report is the only place that shows this information, and that is that Daniel Rangebar has a more than 5% stake in this business. Since there aren't other owners listed here, it appears that Rangebar owns a good portion of this company, and maybe even all of it. I also know that the mailing address for the owner is 4828 Quail Crest Place, which I have seen on the previous screen and also in the property search I did previously. Next, let's search for the other company that came up in the property search, Ortho LLC. When I type Ortho into the search bar, I get a list of companies that have Ortho in their names. As you can see, some of them are still operating and some of them are no longer in business. This is good to know in that one day, I may be searching for a company that's no longer around and this database still may have information on that company. Okay, I find Ortho LLC on the list and click on the record. Once again, I see the same name under resident agent and the same address. Let's just make sure that all this is the same in the annual report. This is interesting. Here I see a different name. Nader Ranchbar is listed as the owner of the company with Daniel Ranchbar serving as the resident agent. But I also remember from the previous screen that Ranchbar's first initial is N. So unless I find other evidence, I'm going to assume that Nader and Daniel are the same person. When I Google Daniel Ranchbar, I find out that he is an orthodontist whose practice is located at 4828 Quail Crest Place. If you grew up in Lawrence, maybe you were one of his patients at one point. Combining my property and business entity search results, 
I now know that Dr. Rangebar owns Blue Cypress LLC, which is the owner of the 825 Massachusetts building, and also Ortho LLC, which owns the building where his practice is located. If he owns two businesses, maybe he owns more. I can check if he is a registered agent for any other companies in the business entity database by searching his name. This search returns records for nine companies, two of which are no longer in business. The ones that are operating are AutoWave Technologies, Birchtree, Blue Cypress, which I already know about, Daniel Rangebar DDS, Ortho LLC, the Phoenix Gallery, so he not only owns the building where the Phoenix Gallery is located, but is also the registered agent for the store itself, and the Spiritual Assembly of the Baha'is of Lawrence. If I was doing more extensive research on Dr. Rangebar, I would want to take a closer look at the records of each of these companies, including their annual reports. One thing to keep in mind, if you are searching for companies by the resident agent's name, is that people sometimes use variations of their names when filing various documents. For example, when we search the name Self, we find that Bill Self owns a company called BCLT LLC under the name Bill Self, and a company called Bill and Cindy Self LLC under the name Bill E. Self Jr. If I had searched only for Bill Self, all I would have seen is the BCLT company. So now you're equipped to search for business entity records in Kansas. Keep in mind that these business records live at the state level, so the databases used by different states will look differently than the Kansas database we've been looking at. For example, this is what the Missouri business database looks like, and this is what the Nebraska business database looks like, and this is what the Texas database looks like. So if you're looking for the records of a business that's not registered in Kansas, you will need to first find that state's database and then figure out how to work the database to find records in it. I wish you very happy business entity searching.